Ratings is defined as a designated operating limit for a device or product based on specific conditions. Quarantine Restraints and other cargo net manufacturers each have a way of rating their own product and promoting their working load limit. This video explains how the ratings are determined by Quarantine and their competitors. There are current manufacturers on the market that are promoting very high working load limits in comparison to our marked ratings. Let us explain why this is. Let's review how we rate our nets. This is what we call a corner pull test, which resembles a real-world situation where the weight of the load is usually never equally distributed, but rather all in one section. This test also determines the weakest component. We pull all hardware such as the webbing, carabiners, corner attachments, buckles, etc. with a calibrated hydraulic ram until we determine its breaking point. The weakest component is then determined and divided by the nationally recommended safety factor of 3 to calculate the working load limit. For example, if I have a breaking point of 15 pounds and I divided that by a recommended safety factor of 3, a working load limit is 5 pounds. So in our case, our breaking point of the weakest component was 1,475 pounds. Divide that by the recommended safety factor of 3, we got our working load limit of 492 pounds. Now let's view how one of our competitors rate and promotes the working load limit. This cargo net manufacturer seen here advertises a working load limit of 1,200 to 1,600 pounds, which is substantially higher than our working load limit of 492 pounds. This is because they conduct a sling load testing method to determine the working load limit. This method is done by simply suspending the net by all four corners and loading it with weight until breaking point, then dividing that breaking point by a safety factor to determine the working load limit. When we do the same sling load style testing method, our Quarantine Pro Series nets have a breaking strength of 5,904 pounds. This would generate a working load limit of 1,967 pounds when using the nationally recommended safety factor of 3. Our findings show one major issue that also needs to be addressed. This competitor's engineer report clearly indicates that only a safety factor of 1.5 is used when calculating the product's working load limit. This is not at all an acceptable practice and calculation outlined in National Safety Code Standard 10 Cargo Securement, which is a standard that is approved by the Council of Ministers responsible for transportation and highway safety, or the Sling and Tie Down Association to which the Council of Ministers refer to. This low safety factor simply means a much higher working load limit can be calculated. So for example, if I have a breaking point of 15 pounds and I divided that by a safety factor of 1.5, my working load limit is now 10 pounds. So in this manufacturer's and our competitor's case, they are able to rate their products at a high working load limit of 12 to 1600 pounds by using a smaller safety factor of 1.5. Our main goal with this information is to educate the consumers and our distributors to better understand and interpret the information provided by us manufacturers so that they can make a better informed decision on their purchases, especially when safety is the main concern.